in this session we are going to discuss about hydraulic calculation for sprinkler system design okay and uh, the hazard classification which we have taken here it is a light hazard okay so we are doing the hydraulic calculation for light hazard occupancy so first of all before starting the calculation first tell me what do you understand by light hazard uh, how you can identify so remember here light hazard occupancies shall be defined as occupancies where the quantity or combustibility of contents is low and fires with relatively low rates of heat release are expected okay here you can see it here some application of light hazard is given okay animal shelter masjid clubs educational area hospitals institutional it means if fire occurs in this area so that fire comes under which hazard light hazard okay so here i am designing for restaurant sitting area okay our application is what restaurant uh, sitting area so for that uh, we have to enter some concept okay we have to enter this some value here before starting the calculation so this is as per nfpa all this we have to design all hydraulic calculation okay now first of all we have to enter the hazard classification which type of hazard is okay so we are designing we are doing the hydraulic calculation for light hazard so here you have to enter the light hazard now when you come in this uh, row it is telling area coverage by sprinkler so it means uh, if you are designing for light hazard so you are know that one sprinkler can cover how much area protection area of light hazard is how much so you can see here and i have already uh, discussed that all okay if you want to see you can see it here i have a table see here it is written protection area and maximum spacing so when you go in this light hazard because we have a different types of hazard light hazard ordinary hazard extra hazard and high piled storage so we are designing for light hazard so for light hazard um, protection maximum protection area is given here for non combustible obstructed and unobstructed and combustible unobstructed it what 225 square feet okay so we have to take this that much so just come to our here and write down area coverage by sprinkler how much one sprinkler can cover 225 square feet in case of light hazard okay now he is asking about density so for light hazard how much density we have to take so for that again i i have a table for density here you can see here we have a density and area of sprinkler operation table in this table you can see from light hazard so what is the density we have uh, we have to take for light hazard 0.1 gpm per square feet okay so that value you have to enter here just enter it 0.1 okay 0.1 gpm per square feet okay as per nfpa 13 we have taken this number now come to next here what is asking total area protection so how much total area uh, protection so for that again uh, here we have a table you can see for light hazard area of sprinkler operation is what 1500 square feet okay so that value you have to enter here so total area protection is 1500 square feet for sprinkler system and next one is asking about k factor so first of all uh, all of you listen what is k factor and i have uh, explained that all k factor in depth in your previous slide okay so k factor is what here k factor is a coefficient of discharge used to define the discharge of a sprinkler head at varying pressure okay if you want to find out the k factor so formula we have q is equal to k root p okay with the help of that formula you can easily find out here i have taken 5.6 why remember in normal condition uh, we choose an upright standard sprinkler okay so upright standard response sprinkler uh, with k factor 5.6 and temperature rating 57 to 77 degree celsius as it is uh, the common sprinkler for different applications and it is not expensive okay 
suppose uh, if you are choosing the pendant or other type of sprinkler system so is okay for that also we have to take the same characteristics okay we have to uh, enter the k factor 5.6 okay uh, if you are taken k factor because this k factor is dependent upon the orifice dia of the sprinkler okay a low k factor such as k 2.8 restrict the flow of water okay while a larger suppose if you are taken larger k factor value such as k 22.4 25.2 or 28.0 so permit must more water to flow through okay so here always remember for the designing purpose always we have to take the k factor 5.6 okay here as per nfpa 13 now here is asking about total number of sprinkler so here we have to find out the total number of sprinkler how so how to find out the total number of sprinkler here i have just written the formula you can see if you just double click on this formula will will be given c10 by d5 it means when you divide this total protection area by this area coverage by one sprinkler so you get the total number of sprinkler so i have just apply the formula here so we got 6.67 something so just round off so here total number of how much sprinkler we need in remote area we have to install seven number of sprinkler in remote area okay i think all of you know about a remote area remote area is the farthest point okay where we have to install the sprinkler so always remember in hydraulic calculation we have to design only for remote area okay that how much flow is flowing through that so for that we get number of how many sprinkler seven number of sprinkler you can see in this image here i have taken one example so you can easily understand with the help of this example so suppose here you can see with the help of pump here we have a different types of pump uh, electrical diesel pump electric pump uh, jockey pump is there so here when you are supplying water through this pump so what happened suppose the largest or the farthest sprinkler is this okay so only remember during the hydraulic calculation we have to just design for only remote area sprinkler so in remote area we have already calculated seven number of sprinkler we have to install so this is our farthest sprinkler one two three four five six seven so we have to do the calculation as per our remote area okay so seven number of sprinkler are there so for this sprinkler we have to done the hydraulic calculation now come to here next uh, we have calculated up to here now here it is telling a remote area length what is the length so to calculate the length we have a formula here you can see it uh, what is the formula 1 point 1 point 2 into root ap ap is what total area protection okay uh, 1500 square feet just put the value so you will get the this much of uh, length remote area length 46.476 now to calculate the remote area width again we have a formula what is the formula this total area protection you can see when i am double hitting here it will be given total protection area divided by 46.5 this remote area length when you divide both of them so you get the remote area width okay now here when you come in this uh, row number 22 so here it is given distance between sprinkler what distance we have to maintain between sprinkler to sprinkler so as i already shown you here i have a chart uh, protection area and maximum spacing both are given so for light hazard when you see now here maximum spacing is given how much we have to maintain between sprinkler to sprinkler for both condition 15 feet okay it is the maximum uh, spacing but here try to take not maximum okay because maximum is 15 feet so here i am taking suppose 14 feet okay 1 4 14 feet don't go beyond 14 feet because uh, maximum is given 15 feet na, as per NFPA 13. So I am taking, suppose distance I am maintaining between sprinkler to sprinkler 40 feet. 
14 feet now here it is telling distance between branch line so how you can find out the distance between branch line here what it is telling first they are telling that what is the different uh, distance between this sprinkler to this sprinkler so already we have calculated how much uh, as per NFP it is given maximum spacing we have to maintain between sprinkler to sprinkler is 15 feet so I have taken 14 feet okay for every sprinkler next thing we have to calculate the distance between this branch line suppose this is my branch one branch second branch third branch so between this branch to branch how much distance we have to maintain so for that here we have a formula okay when you see na, here it is written the formula as divide by capital s capital s is what here distance between sprinkler and as is what it is given here okay AS is what area coverage by sprinkler so one sprinkler can cover in light hazard in case of light hazard one sprinkler can cover 225 square feet so you have to just divide both of them finally you get the what distance between branch line okay you can see I have just applied the formula here D5 D5 is what area of area coverage by one sprinkler divide by uh, distance between between sprinkler to sprinkler when you enter you get how much distance 16 point something fit okay it means distance between branch line how much we have taken 16 feet when you go in this drawing uh, so when you measure from here to here so this between branch line we have a 16 feet spacing we have given okay and from sprinkler to sprinkler spacing is 14 feet we have taken okay so in this way we have to calculate all this thing now come to next point uh, it is telling maximum number of sprinklers per branch it means in each branch this branch suppose this is my branch okay so in each branch how many maximum number of sprinkler you can install so for that again we have a formula you can see in this calculation when you see here formula is given 1.2 root ap ap is what is ap here it will be written total protection area okay 1 by 2 root ap divide by spacing between sprinkler so when you enter all the value you get 3.32 okay it means just consider as a 3 it means in each branch how much sprinkler how many number of sprinkler we have to install 3 number of sprinkler so same thing in drawing you can see here I have installed 3 sprinkler okay now come to next point it is telling a qs qs means from this sprinkler suppose this number one is sprinkler so from this sprinkler how many water will be discharged how many amount of water we required so for that here q is equal to how much it uh, we have taken 22.5 so from where we have taken it is written in formula when i am double clicking uh, b8 into d5 it means what b8 is where here we have a b8 density into d5 clear we have to multiply both of them then only you get the uh, gpm value because why because see here it is written area coverage by sprinkler is given 225 square feet see the unit okay then density we have calculated for light hazard 0 0.1 gpm per square feet when you multiply both of them square feet square feet will be cancelled then you get the gpm gallon per minute so easily you can calculate the flow value so from uh, sprinklers from one sprinkler how many water will be discharged 22.5 gpm okay in this way you have to calculate okay now next we have to calculate the residual pressure so before calculating this pressure first tell me what do you understand by residual pressure i have already explained about that okay so simple uh, residual pressure is the pressure acting on a point in the system with a flow being delivered it means when a sprinkler going to start so with a flow being delivered what is the pressure that pressure is called as a residual pressure so as per nfpa national fire protection as association 
minimum residual pressure we have to maintain how much 15 psi for light hazard remember okay for ordinary hazard there is a different value and for extra hazard there is different value okay so we are designing for light hazard so for light hazard minimum residual pressure we have to maintain 15 psi okay so how to calculate for that see here i have taken the formula to calculation of residual pressure this is the formula qs divide by k okay square so you get the residual pressure just put the value qs we have calculated 22.5 divide by k k factor value 5.6 square okay so you get 16.14 psi yeah is okay so you can take this it means uh, when a uh, sprinkler start so what happened the pressure of that water is what 16.14 okay so this is our residual pressure this is the minimum residual pressure we have calculated and uh, as per nfpa it is telling that minimum 15 psi if you are if it if your pressure is coming residual pressure is come more than 15 is okay but see here minimum is 15 psi okay don't go below 15 psi so here it is coming 16 is okay you can take it it means from sprinkler sprinkler residual pressure is given 16.14 psi now the question is why we are uh, and uh, calculating this residual pressure all this thing so i will explain you first listen one more thing here is given material of pipe this is our c value okay so material of pipe black steel suppose if you are selected black steel pipe for firefighting schedule 40 so for that roughness coefficient so coefficient of roughness for that pipe is 120 okay uh, you will get this value from uh, table we have a Ashley table in that table you get all this value okay see in this table I think it is given or not just wait huh? here all detail is given pipe schedule method pipe sizing and here you get the equal to find out the pipe length equivalent pipe length so uh, sorry fitting suppose if you have a 45 degree elbow 90 degree elbow to, to find out the length of that fitting here you have to follow this table as per nfpa then to find out the density all these things so here we have another table okay so here it is not given but you can easily get from a uh, NFPA national fire protection this value okay based on your pipe material you get this value C value coefficient of roughness correct so now the question is uh, you can see in this drawing here we have taken a remote in remote area how much sprinkler we have to install seven number of sprinkler so we have installed here one two three four five six seven okay then this is our main pipe is going where see it is going and connecting to each and every pump suppose now uh, my question is that why I am calculating residual pressure and all these things so the reason the answer is see we are what what we are learning we are find out the head of fire pump to find out the head of fire pump again tell me why we need head of this pump because if you want to find out the capacity of pump so first of all we need the head of fire pump okay so to calculate the head of fire pump this is the formula hs plus hr plus hlp plus hlf what is this hs is a static head okay and hr is residual head hlp is friction loss in pipe head and hlf is friction loss in fitting and valves head so when we find out all these thing then only you get the head of fire pump okay so here uh, we have to calculate the pump head pressure what pressure is there so that is why we need first residual pressure static pressure and second thing residual pressure static pressure and friction loss in pipe we have to calculate all this thing so here we get the residual pressure 16.14 now see how to do the calculation okay first of all read the drawing here this is our restaurant sitting area we are designing and we are doing the hydraulic calculation uh, here we have a different uh, branches many branches is there but we do not need uh, branches 
because here only we have to do the hydraulic calculation as per remote area so in remote area only seven sprinkler are coming so we have to do the calculation only for seven sprinkler so for that see first of all we have to do this pipe size okay so here pipe size is uh, done see one inch it is given because only one sprinkler is coming in this branch so one inch from where we have we have a pipe schedule method if you remember here i have a table also just i will show you when you go in this table here we have a different types of table so for light hazard pipe schedule method is given okay if suppose your number of sprinkler is up to two sprinkler so you have to take how much dia one inch uh, if you are selecting a steel pipe remember okay for copper pipe there is a different concept so i'm uh we are because we are taken steel black steel pipe now see you can see here i have taken material of pipe what black steel so that is why i'm talking about black st uh, in steel pipe so if your number of sprinkler is up to two sprinkler so the diameter of pipe is one inch okay we have to take and if suppose number of sprinkler is more than two up to three sprinkler then we have to take how much dia one one by four inch it means 1.25 okay if suppose your number of sprinkler is more than three sprinkler up to five sprinkler then you have to take one one by half inch 1.5 inch pipe dia you can see in this drawing easily here i have taken one inch dia why because reason is that uh, we have only one sprinkler okay that is why i have taken when i'm going this uh, in this branch in this section so we get one sprinkler two sprinkler so up to two sprinkler you can take one inch okay but see when i'm uh, my sprinkler is increasing when i'm doing this sizing pipe sizing of this section here see i have taken 1.25 why the reason is my number of sprinkler is three see one two three so for three uh, three sprinkler how much pipe size you can see in this table if your sprinkler is up to three so one one by four inch okay same way i have done the next also here also we have taken the same sizes okay when you come in this section so can you tell me how many number of sprinkler now we have in the for this section okay so you can see here one two three four five six we have a six number of sprinkler so when you go in this table and see it is written six number of sprinkler it is coming between five to ten if your number of sprinkler is more than five up to ten sprinkler then you have to select what diameter two inch okay that only uh, here it is written okay so come to our calculation now here i have a, a sheet in this sheet we have to do the calculation now first of all we have to find out the uh, we have to do the hydraulic calculation for remote area okay to come to our drawing so this is our first point okay here i have uh, written the point also one two three four five six seven then this is a, a point b point c point d e f up to here we have to do the calculation then only you get the pump flow rate and pump head pressure okay so come to here from a last sprinkler this is our one so here i have written one part number one now how many flow how many gpm flow rate is given for this path so we have already calculated if you remember qs value 22.5 gpm okay so here you have to write down the 22 one sprinkler can discharge how many gpm water 22.5 just write down okay correct so in path number one i have written q value uh, 22.5 now when you go in this drawing can you tell me for path number one how much dia is given pipe dia one inch so just you have to enter here diameter one inch okay then he's asking about pipe length in feet okay remember so when you go in this drawing here from one point to second point what is the length of this pipe so i have written here 14 feet okay for this section one to two section this pipe length is 14 feet so just here you have to enter the 14 feet okay correct now it is asking about fitting and devices if there is a fitting is there so we are calculating about this now so uh, here we do not have any fitting because this is our first sprinkler just leave it so if if suppose there is a fitting so here you have to enter the 
uh, fitting names a number of fittings uh, that suppose if it is a 90 degree elbow then you have to write down the 90 degree elbow here and how many number of fitting are there you have to write write down in this column then you have to find out the equivalent length okay so but in our case in path one we do not have any fitting so just leave it okay then here you can come in it is telling friction loss in psi per fit okay so how to calculate the friction loss yeah so in this we do not have any friction loss because we are starting now from here only so here we do not have any friction loss okay so just leave it now come to our next point uh, it is telling pressure friction okay so you get if you want to calculate the total friction so you have to multiply by this uh, length total length or this length so you get the total pressure but here in in our case there is no friction loss so just leave it both of them then come to our next here residual pressure here you have to write down the residual pressure which we have calculated and already we have calculated that in sprinkler when is sprinkler discharge water so what is the pressure on that time 16.14 okay this is the pressure i have just see that much of pressure we have calculated so here you have to enter that value 16.14 residual pressure value now here node 1 so p1 we have calculated how much 16.14 residual pressure total okay now come to our next path path number 1 to 2 it means in drawing we have done for this path path number 1 now we are doing the calculation for path number 1 to 2 okay from 1 to 2 so can you tell me when you going uh, when are uh, when we are going from 1 to 2 what is the flow value first of all we have to enter that value so flow value is same 22.5 just leave it then diameter here we have to enter go on drawing and see from path number 1 to 2 diameter is given 1 inch so here you have to enter the 1 inch and what is the pipe length yes pipe length is also 40 14 feet now when you see in this drawing because we are calculating path 1 to 2 so when you come to here 1 to 2 section you can see here we get 190 degree elbow uh, suppose you just memorize uh, what happened here when you connect this branch pipe to sprinkler so you have to give the elbow na? then only you can connect it because sprinkler is in your ceiling level and pipe is above the ceiling so how we can connect this pipe to this sprinkler last sprinkler we have to give the elbow so here we get 190 degree elbow so come to your this question uh, this calculation here write down in fitting and devices write down 90 degree standard elbow how many number of elbow you have so just you can see in this drawing from 1 to because we are doing the calculation for path number 1 to 2 so only 190 degree elbow is coming in this sprinkler. when you connect this branch pipe to this sprinkler so we get 190 degree elbow so here write down one number of 90 degree elbow okay what is the equivalent length for this 90 degree standard elbow so for that in table when you go now here detail is given you can see here equivalent schedule 40 steel pipe so for a steel pipe it is given fitting and valves express in equivalent fit of pipe so our requirement is what we have 90 degree standard elbow fitting okay so for that how much equivalent length is there so first you have to check in calculation here what is the dia you have taken one inch na? for one inch dia pipe what is uh, equivalent length so just go on your table and see 90 degree standard elbow one inch okay we have a one inch pipe 90 degree standard elbow see fitting length is given how much two feet okay so that you have to enter here equivalent length two feet now here you have to enter the total length uh, the length which you have get, uh, get from here pipe length plus uh, fitting length okay so we get 16 14 plus 2 16 okay formula will be there okay just automatically it will take when you enter the length of fitting now automatically it will give you the 16 value now here we have to calculate the friction loss and remember in which unit psi per fit so how much friction loss will be there inside the pipe so how to calculate how to calculate the friction loss 
so here i have just apply the formula because we have a formula to calculate the friction loss hazen william formula p is equal to 4.52 q q to the power 1.85 divided by c to the power 1.85 d to the power 4.87 okay with the help of this formula you can easily calculate the friction loss in psi per feet of pipe length okay q is what here flow in gpm c is friction loss coefficient or roughness this value you get as per your material okay based on your pipe material you will get this value okay we have a table for that and i have already discussed you in a previous lecture also and d is interior pipe diameter in inches when you put all the value you will get the friction loss value in psi per feet of pipe length remember okay so here i have done same thing when you go now here i have applied the formula if you see 4.52 and c to uh, q to the power all this thing i have applied the formula same formula so we get how much value 0.2 value but unit is what psi per feet of it means per feet of pipe length how many friction loss 0.2 psi we have calculated but i need for total length because total length we have calculated 16 feet it is given friction loss per feet of pipe length but we need the friction loss for 16 feet of pipe length so nothing to do just multiply both of them this friction loss which we you have calculated for per feet of pipe length into total length okay so you get the value 3.27 now this value is right or wrong so how can you check so we have a hazen william equation a formula with the help of i will show you first memorize all this point for, for this uh, section for this path 1 to 2 path we have a flow value 22.5 diameter 1 length total length 16 feet okay so for that Uh, we have to calculate the friction loss or pressure loss in psi so here when you go in this hazen william equation you will get here see here you have to enter all the details so total length is 16 feet i have just entered that 16 feet uh, c value uh, we have taken for black steel 120 just uh, write down your 120 volume we have calculated 22.5 na flow value just write down and it is asking about inside diameter in inches so we know that for path 1 to 2 we have calculated 1 inch when you enter so you get the uh, friction loss in psi per feet of pipe length 0.2 if you want to calculate the friction loss for 16 feet of pipe length so you will get this mu that much of value 3.27 and same value it will be written here 3.27 okay so from where uh, is coming i think all of you understood now here in residual pressure we have to add that this pressure which uh, we have taken 16.14 plus this pressure friction pressure or friction loss which we have calculated both of them just add it you get 19.41 total friction total loss okay now p2 we get how much uh 6 19.41 okay now in this session in this part part 1 to 2 how much flow of water we need so how to calculate if you remember we have a formula q is equal to k root p formula okay it is written here in excel sheet also so k uh, q is equal to k root p so p uh, we get 19.41 for this part okay 1 to 2 part and k value always we have to take 5.6 so when you just uh, enter the all the value so you get q value how much flow value 24.67 it means from path uh, 1 to 2 how much flow we need water 24.67 gpm okay remember everyone in this part you can see from drawing for this sprinkler we need 22.5 but here from path 1 to 2 we need 24. Point something gpm okay so that it is written here in this way you have to calculate now come to our next path part number 2 to 3 in drawing because we have calculated from here then come to here next section next path 2 to 3 so when you calculate here when we are doing the calculation so can you tell me for path number 2 to 3 how much flow we need so how to calculate simple just you have to apply the formula Pre previously we ha uh, you have calculated how much 
for part number 1 or for part number 1 22.5 this much plus you have to add this 24.67 because for part 1 we have calculated flow value 22.5 and for part 1 to 2 we have calculated how much 24.65 add both of them so you get 47.17 okay it means in part 2 to 3 how much flow we need in this path so it is given here 47.17 gpm now here you have to enter the diameter and pipe length so just open your uh, this drawing can you tell me uh, what is diameter is given one inch okay and uh, length from this point two to point three is 14 feet it is written here okay so just you have to enter both of them one feet and 14 correct now here when you come to your drawing so can you tell me uh, this between this path two to three any fitting is coming any valve is coming yes one t fitting is coming because we are connecting this sprinkler to this branch pipe so we need one t because a sprinkler is in the ceiling level and branch is uh, above the ceiling level so how you can connect this uh, sprinkler so we need t here we have taken 90 degree elbow why because this is our last sprinkler okay we have to turn our pipe okay then uh, that, that, that is why we have taken 90 degree elbow but here uh, the sprinkler which is coming between the pipe here we need one t okay so nothing to do only here you have to just write down t or cross 90 degree both are same so one t fitting is there so just write down one quantity now what is the equivalent length for that fitting so for that remember diameter one inch okay and for t we are do, going to search is so just open your table here table is given <coughs> from this table you get the equivalent length so see it is given here t or cross pipe is what one is dia so you have to search in one is dia what is the value five equivalent length for fitting is given five just you have to enter here five okay now when you enter so automatically you will get the total length this length pipe length which you have calculated and fitting length how much 14 plus 5 19 correct now you have to calculate the friction loss in psi per feet so same formula we have to use which formula has an william formula this formula i have already explained you just here formula will be there okay so you get 0 0.8 psi per feet but you need uh, friction loss as per your pipeline so our total pipeline is what for this section uh, this part 2 3 19 so for 19 feet of pi uh, for 19 feet pipeline how much friction loss you have to multiply both of them so you get 15.27 that much of friction loss okay now what you have to do just you have to add both of them this this plus this so you get the total friction loss total friction means uh, what residual pressure plus total friction loss in the pipe which we have calculated so just you have to add both of them this l42 okay l46 this one and k46 uh, sorry k50 see k50 okay add both of them so you get the <coughs> total pressure how much 34.68 okay now here we have calculated uh, this pressure 34.68 but i want to know that how much flow is flowing through this pipe <coughs> so how to flow how to just calculate k is equal to we have to take the 5.6 and we have a formula q is equal to k root p just put the value you get 32.98 how much flow we required in this section in this path 32.98 Nine eight. Okay. So in this way, we have to do the calculation. Now come to our next uh, path. You can see in drawing number three to a, from three to a point. This section, this path. Okay. So when you see how much flow, so we have to calculate. Before that, here, what you have, uh, what uh, I have done, C fifty and fifty two. It means what? This C fifty. okay so what we have done uh, this one c50 this one 47.17 plus 
32 which we have calculated 32.98 we have to add both of them okay now here you have to enter the diameter first of all so before that just freeze this uh, so they cannot move it so how to freeze just go on view okay now you can move it sorry just freeze this row okay now come to our next point uh, 3 to a path okay we are discussing about this so from where uh, we get this uh, i have already explained you this one and plus uh, which we have calculated 32.98 both value when you add uh, you get 80.15 then in paths 3 to a how much diameter is given you can see in this drawing from path 3 to a diameter is 1.25 so here you have to enter the uh, diameter and length is given see 21 feet from 3 to a here i have written 21 feet okay so that value you have to enter here 1.25 or 1 1 by 4 inch okay and 21 length now when you come in this drawing can you tell me uh, what number of fitting we need so you can see in this from uh, we are talking about here 3 to a section okay <clears throat> so can tell me here what fitting we need yes so first of all uh, we have a 190 uh, degree elbow and one T both we need okay 90 degree elbow and one T see when you turn the pipe here you have to install the 90 degree elbow na and a 1T for this connection of sprinkler system from branch to sprinkler so here we need 1T and here uh, we need 90 degree elbow <clears throat> remember the diameter 1 1 by 4 inch okay so nothing to do just come to our calculation here you have write down one number of 90 degree elbow we need one number of T then uh, your value equivalent length you get from this table for 90 degree standard elbow 1 1 by 4 inch pipe size how much 3 and T 6 3 6 just write down here 3 6 ok so you get the total length because pipe length we have calculated 21 it is given in uh, your <coughs> drawing ok and you can easily calculate with the help of AutoCAD file also so 21 and uh, uh, we need here total length so total fitting length also we have to add so you get 30 fit total length okay now what we have to calculate we have to calculate the friction loss okay so how to calculate same we have to apply that formula has and william equation you get 0 0.72 psi per fit <coughs> so this friction loss uh, we have calculated for per feet of pipeline but we need friction loss for 30 feet of pipeline so just multiply both of them you get 21.68 friction loss then here total pressure so from where you have to add both of them 34.68 or 21.68 you get uh, 56.36 okay that much of total pressure we get okay all of you <clears throat> now come to our next uh, path 5 to uh, 4 to 5 it means we have covered up to here 3.3 a uh, okay now again we have to come for this section this branch also because we ha we have to cover this 7 up to 7 sprinkler na? so 4 to 5 this so same calculation is uh, here we have to done same which you have done na, in this section uh, in this path 1 to 2 same calculation we have to done because see diameter is given same and uh, length of this section is also given same 14 feet for this also we have to done the same calculation okay for 4 to 5 5 to 6 so just come your calculation 4 to 5 nothing to do just enter 1 inch 14 feet uh, length and uh, we need 190 degree elbow okay so uh, here which we have taken 1 and 2 values just enter it 1 number of 90 degree elbow 2 okay so it will be uh, total number of pressure you get 19.4 something and okay? okay and for this section uh, path 4 to 5 uh, we get flow value 24.67 correct now same thing when you come here 5 to 6 session here flow value from uh, this that much 
558 this one plus this one okay both of them 47.1 now again we have a 1 inch and 14 feet uh, length but here when you see in this drawing for for 5 to 6 here we do not have any elbow here we have to connect uh, you, we have to install t fitting okay for the connection of a sprinkler so just write down here one t fitting is there uh, what is the equivalent length for t fitting for one inch pipe so we have already calculated five okay previously just write down five okay so finally you get this much of, that much of flow now let come to our six point a uh, this path six to a it is very important all of you see okay many of them are confusion in this path so come to your drawing now we have calculated this path also and this branch now we have to calculate the all uh, pressure total pressure for this 6 to a so here you can see the length of this pipe is given 5 feet and diameter of pipe 1.25 inch okay so nothing to do just enter the uh, diameter 1.25 and length pipe 5 feet before that here come to here in flow value how you can just calculate so nothing to do just 40 this one 47.1 which we have calculated then this and 64 okay 97 when you add both of not 90.7 uh, this one 32.98 okay when you add this both of them so you get 80.15 okay flow value in gpm now when you see in this uh, 6 to a path can you tell me how on any fitting is there yes we have one t fitting now we need to connect this sprinkler to this branch line so here just and remember the size also 1.25 1 1 by 4 inch okay pipe dia so nothing to do just uh, here write down uh, one number of t fitting we need and for that just go on table and search it here for t fitting 1 1 by 6 value we have to take okay so just enter the 6 value okay so here you get the total length how much this length plus fitting length 11 okay then you can easily calculate the friction loss with the help of that hazen william equation but this friction loss we have calculated for one fit means one fit of pipeline that much of friction loss. but for 11 feet of pipeline so we have to multiply both of them you get 7.95 okay then total pressure this pressure plus this pressure we get 42.63 okay now remember here in this 6a here what happened both flow are coming here now this so we have to balance that flow the the flow with first we have to supply some amount of flow in this branch then we have to supply some amount of flow in this branch so in this point we have to balance the flow how much amount of flow we have to supply it so for that how to calculate when you see in this path 6a here see for adjust the flow here we have a formula q into root p by p it means what you can see when i'm double clicking here it is given c66 okay this flow 80.15 which we have calculated into square root of l54 where, where is l54 see here we have a l54 <coughs> okay this uh, we have calculated na 3a uh, in this you can see here we have calculated na pressure value how much so that value we have to take plus this value you can see so where it is uh, 6 in just double click first we have to enter the flow value formula is written here q value into root p is me uh, when you come to this path 3a path this value divide by what l66 uh, this value both value we have to divide so you finally you get the flow value uh, 92.16 uh, okay that much of flow we have to supply up to here okay some amount of flow is going in this branch some amount of it means from the here this point how much flow we get uh, 92.16 okay correct everyone in this point okay remember in this a point how much flow we need 92 point something okay so in this way you have to calculate now here when you come next see in your drawing 
okay so we have calculated uh, up to here now we have to calculate for this section for this path a to b path so for a to b path see length is given 16 feet and diameter 2 inch okay so just come to your calculation here a b session first flow how much we have to take this is the question okay so it is simple uh, c 54 plus n 68 yeah this this value which we have calculated na 92.16 this plus what c54 here uh, in this 3a section which we have calculated okay c64 where it is 80.15 okay getting everyone na? in this point we have calculated how much 92 point something and then in this section 3a session okay we have to uh, 3a path so here formula will be there okay see c54 and 60 so you get the uh, flow value how much 172.31 it means in this year in this path we need how many were uh, water how many amount of water 172 gpm okay so that it is written here now the diameter for this path 1 to 2 2 inch and length of that uh, section is 16 feet okay it is written here so just write down uh, 2 inch uh, diameter and length is how much given 16 feet so write down the length 16 feet okay now if any T any fitting is there for a B section just go on your drawing and see it any fitting is there here we have one fitting this fitting uh, how you can connect this branch to this main line with the help of T fitting so we have one T fitting okay just go and diameter is given see two two inch okay remember this point so for two inch we have to search it so just write down here t fitting one number of t fitting and the dia is what two inch so for two inch t fitting just open your table here it is given see two inch is there so for two inch how much it is showing 10 feet uh, fitting length okay just enter here 10 in a b session remember we are working in this uh, path okay a b write down here equivalent length 10 so you get the total length how much 26 okay then again friction loss simple we have to apply that formula so you get the per feet of uh, friction loss psi that much of pressure if you want to calculate for 26 uh, feet of pipe length, so just multiply both of them you get 7.85 pressure friction in psi okay then here you have to add both of them because we need total pressure so this one what we have to add l54 okay so where it is l54 same 3a section in 3a path which we have calculated na? this l54 56.36 and uh, this one which we have calculated uh, k70 uh, 7.8 when you add both of them you get uh, 64.28 don't uh, take this one okay remember because here we are doing the balancing na? don't take this one here we are talking about a to b session so we get how much pressure total 64.21 okay now come to our next path 7 to b what is this first come your drawing we have calculated a b path now the final last sprinkler is remaining 7 number this one how much flow we need so 7.7 to b so diameter of pipe is given 1.25 inch okay and suppose length is same 5 feet length is there for this branch also just you can just select it and control shift c just place it here okay so for this section also same length is there and same dia so just nothing to do uh -huh yes first how much flow we need for for this uh, as uh, 7 to b path simple we have calculated now 22.1 one from one sprinkler how much flow we have to discharge 22.5 gpm okay so we have already calculated same thing here it is written 22.5 now write down the diameter 1 2 2 5 and uh, flow uh, length is 5 feet okay now tell me any fitting is there in yeah what fitting 
simple 90 degree fitting is there a uh, t fitting is there okay because here we have another fitting here I, if suppose if you calculate for this so here we have to take 90 degree but here we need t fitting okay uh, how much dia 1.25 so just go on your calculation and see here t fitting one number of t fitting and six equivalent length for that fitting so you get the total length so you can easily calculate the friction loss also and pressure total pressure loss okay now here you get the uh, what 16.9 is what k74 this one k74 this which you have calculated plus uh, your uh, here this terminal pressure or residual pressure which we have calculated you have to add both of them okay so finally you get 16.9 and remember in this point also <coughs> here b point we have to uh, balance our flow so how to calculate the flow value for b point so just you have to apply the same formula q into root p by p okay when you when i am double hitting c c74 this much flow value into L70 which we have calculated now see this PSI divide by L74 this one both of them just divide you get the okay correct everyone in this way we have to do the calculation How much it is coming? Uh, Forty-three point eight five. Okay, it means in this point, B point flow value is forty-three point eight five. We have to supply it. Okay. Now the next is BC path BC or section BC <clears throat> because we have calculated up to here. I don't need to calculate this branch because our seven sprinkler we have covered. Only we have to do the calculation for remote area the farthest area of this pipeline okay because we are calculating pump head and all of you know pump head is what it is the maximum height that the pump can achieve pumping against gravity okay so always we have to go for uh, farthest point and in this for remote area we get we have calculated seven number of sprinkler so we have done now come to our next point from point uh, from path b to c okay this is our from path b to c so for this path what we have to do b to c what is the flow value so flow value is simple c c70 and 76 okay it is very easy <clears throat> which you have calculated now here uh, where it is bc or cd what you have calculated uh, bc okay bc path so where it is here c c70 this one a B section you have calculated now in a B section we have calculated this one this flow plus this flow okay so see here uh, in BC section a path this 70 C 70 a B section we get the flow value 172 plus and 76 here okay this which we have calculated 43.85 both when you add both of them you get uh 216.16 now can you tell me for bc what is diameter and pipe length so just go on your drawing and pipe length i have taken here written 24 feet okay and diameter you have to take for bc section take as a um, larger diameter one uh, 2.5 inch okay 24 feet length and diameter 2.5 inch just write down 2.5 and 24 correct <clears throat> now can you tell me here any fitting is there for yeah we have one fitting see this branch is connected to this main pipe now uh, so one t fitting is there how much dia 2.5 inch dia we have to take okay so here write down one t fitting for 2.5 diameter where it is 2.5 see this coming here 12 okay just write down the 12 you get the total finally you get the total and 36 friction loss that much and 
total pressure this one okay then come to our next uh, CD for CD path pipe length uh, pipe die is 3 inch and length 15 50 feet okay so just enter before that we have to just take the flow value so now see flow value is same for all all path why because we have to cover up to here only na? Uh, 7b after 7b bc is there now the flow is same for everywhere because we don't need this extra uh, branch line flow value okay because we are doing the calculation only for remote area so now the flow flow value is similar okay only the diameter of pipe and length is changing see 3 inch 50 feet no, so nothing to do in cd section just write down 3 inch here and what is the length 50 feet write down 50 feet now you have to see any fitting is there yeah one uh, fitting is coming for cd section section what is fitting 90 degree fitting suppose here see when you connect this vertical uh, riser to this pipe okay so we need one 90 degree elbow here so that elbow you have to write down and remember the diameter three inch given okay so just here in cd write down one number of what equivalent length so you have to open your table and see for 90 degree standard elbow 3 in 7 value okay so just write down the 7 so finally you get the total length friction loss and total pressure 73 from where this one plus this one okay now for again a uh, next path is a uh, de path okay this path de path you can see from drawing we have cover a cd now de this one so in de path what is the pipe size 4 inch and length pipe length is 15 feet is given so just you have to enter flow is similar because okay so 4 inch and 15 feet na? you can see from drawing yeah 15 feet 4 inch now uh, can you tell me any fitting is there yeah we have fitting see this fitting is there okay <coughs> one gate valve is there na? yeah so you have to and uh, remember we have to calculate the equivalent length for this fitting so first you have to memorize this uh, diameter 4 inch so come to here write down uh, one gate wall one number of gate wall we have what is the equivalent length so you have to open your table first of all and see here such here we have a gate wall so for 4 inch dia gate wall equivalent length is what see here it is coming 2 okay so here you have to write down the 2 number uh, equivalent value two correct so you get the total length uh, in fit finally you can easily calculate the friction law with the help of hazen william equation and if you want to calculate the friction loss for total uh, for 17 feet of pipe length so you have to multiply both of them you get the 0 0.27 finally you get the total pressure means residual pressure plus total friction pressure this one plus this one 73.68 okay now come to our next uh, path in drawing what it is given uh, next is from E to F okay here also pi uh, pipe diameter is same 4 inch but the length of that pipe is given 20 feet so, and flow is same so 4 inch 20 feet write down 4 inch and 20 feet correct now you have to check here in drawing any fitting is there yeah we have fitting gate valve and uh, here one swing check valve another fitting is also there so swing check wall <coughs> and gate wall so for that you have to open the table for gate wall okay four inch we have a two equivalent length so for swing check wall it prevent the back flow okay swing check wall that is why we have to install that also so for four inch how much length it is showing 22 so just go on your uh, ear write down one swing check one gate wall and uh, total length uh, for both fitting is how much yes sorry here you have to write down the quantity na? so for swing check wall 22 we get and 2 so total 44 length here you get the friction and total so total pressure how much we have calculated 74.37 something psi okay correct everyone that much of uh, psi we have calculated and flow value how much see uh, we need 216.16 gpm water 
सो यर वैन यू एंटर द वैल्यू टोटल फ्रिक्शन प्रेशर प्लस रेसिडल प्रेशर सो यू गेट सो यर यू हैव टू जस्ट एंटर द हाउ मच यू यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड सो जस्ट नथिंग टू डू यर जस्ट राइट डाउन सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट पॉइंट थ्री सेवन ओके सो यू गेट द वैल्यू इन दिस बार फाइव पॉइंट समथिंग यर कन्वर्जन इज रिटर्न ओके हाउ टू कन्वर्ट दिस पी एस आई इन बार यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स एस सो सेम थिंग आई हैव डन यर सो यू गेट दैट मच अमाउंट ऑफ बार ओके नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट बिकॉज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल यू दैट वी नीड थ्री थिंग्स टू कैलकुलेट द पम्प हेड प्रेशर स्टैटिक प्रेशर रेसिडल प्रेशर एंड फ्रिक्शन टोटल फ्रिक्शन प्रेशर सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड ऑलरेडी फ्रिक्शन प्लस रेसिडल दैट मच बट स्टैटिक सो स्टैटिक इज प्रेशर इज वॉट स्टैटिक प्रेशर इज वॉट प्रेशर एक्टिंग ऑन ए पॉइंट इन द सिस्टम विथ नो फ्लो फ्रॉम द सिस्टम सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट वी हैव टू सी द वर्टिकल पाइप द पाइप विच इज गोइंग अगेंस्ट द ग्रेविटी ना वी हैव टू राइट डाउन द लेंथ ऑफ दैट पाइप सो यू गेट द स्टैटिक प्रेशर सो वैन यू सी इन दिस ड्रॉइंग कैन यू हियर वी हैव अ वर्टिकल राइजर पाइप सो वॉट इज द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ दिस पाइप बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग बिकॉज वी आर सप्लाइंग वाटर अगेंस्ट द ग्रेविटी ना सो यू गेट द स्टैटिक प्रेशर फ्रॉम दिस सो वर्टिकल पाइप लेंथ फिफ्टीन फिट दिस ट्वेंटी फिट दिस मीन्स थर्टी फाइव सो नथिंग टू डू यर यर यू हैव टू राइट डाउन द थर्टी फाइव फिट ओके यर वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री यू गेट द प्रेशर इन बार सी कन्वर्जन फॉर्मूला इज गिवेन ओके वन फुट वाटर गेज वाटर कॉलम इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री बार सो यू गेट द नाउ टोटल हाउ मच यू हैव टू एड बोथ ऑफ देम सो यू गेट सिक्स सिक्स पॉइंट वन एट बार एंड टोटल प्रेशर एटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव एट पी एस आई इट मीन्स यू गेट फाइनली वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड वॉट सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड पम्प हेड प्रेशर एंड पम्प फ्लो वैल्यू सो यर यू हैव टू राइट डाउन what uh, you have calculated so just write down here write down the value so directly you can write it don't need to apply formula anything here just delete this one so it is showing sorry ओके यर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रेशर वी हैव फाइनली वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड एटी नाइन पॉइंट समथिंग ओके ना वॉट वी हैव टू डू जस्ट हियर यू हैव टू राइट डाउन द प्रेशर और इन बार हाउ मच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सिक्स पॉइंट वन एट बार और इन पी एस आई ओनली आई वॉन्ट इन पी एस आई जस्ट वी गेट एटी नाइन पॉइंट ना सो यर आई एम टेकिंग सम टेक दैट सम सेफ्टी फैक्टर ऑल्सो बिकॉज वी नीड फिट लॉ प्रेशर लॉस फॉर फिटिंग ऑल्सो ना सो यर यू कैन टेक एज अ हंड्रेड पी एस आई ओके वी गॉट एटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव हेड बट टेक सम सेफ्टी फैक्टर हंड्रेड पी एस आई पम्प हेड प्रेशर एंड पम्प फ्लो कैपेसिटी हाउ मच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सी टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन सो यर आई एम राइटिंग अराउंड टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी ओके जस्ट अराउंड ऑफ सो दैट मच ऑफ पम्प हेड प्रेशर वी नीड हंड्रेड पी एस आई एंड पम्प फ्लो कैपेसिटी टू ट्वेंटी जी पी एम ओके इन दिस वे वी हैव टू डू दी कैलकुलेशन टू फाइंड आउट दी पम्प हेड प्रेशर एंड पम्प फ्लो कैपेसिटी ओके आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू इन्जॉय द सेशन सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वन